So once again I decided to treat myself to an excessively large and expensive box of import candy. You can see my hand here, I have pretty big hands and yeah, this is lots of, lots of unhealthiness in here. Um, I don't know if I should take it for granted that people who watch this have seen my other videos where I unbox candy from this place. I guess I shouldn't, so I will just once again briefly explain uh, what this is. Uh, and uh, yeah, um, also, <laughs> I've had some people say that I talk too much, which is fully understandable. That's that's fair. Uh, for your for your convenience, I will put the time here where I actually start to open this stuff. Um, if you don't want to listen to what I have to say, um, but uh, yeah, and I, I'm I'm gonna taste some of these things too, like I normally do. Um, I I've given them. I've said this the last couple of times. I think where when I have unboxed stuff from from, from this place, USACandy.se, I've given them lots of free promotion. <laughs> It's a Swedish place. Uh, I'm from Sweden, so that's that solves my strange accent. Um, and they, it says American candy online. Uh, some people have said that you know some of the things that I've shown before that well, we don't have that in the states. You know that's not from from America. Um, well, it says this, this, the website is called USA Candy, and I don't know where everything is from. I just kind of assume that most of the things they have on the website is from America. Um, so sorry if everything is not, um, but in this box uh, recently they got some English stuff in stock, some British British uh, candy and snacks and, and stuff like that. So in this one I, I do believe that I, I got some some British stuff too, not only American, so um, just so you know. And I will mention before as well that I actually have Vegemite and Marmite. In this box that I will try, I'll, I will try that last, uh, and I mentioned that uh, <laughs> the every, every, everything else will, I guess, be a surprise. But I mentioned those two because I know, well, taste videos of, of those uh, two yeast extracts or whatever. They're pretty well. People like to watch them. <laughs> it's one of those those things that if you haven't grow, grown up with it, it's hard to appreciate. It's kind of like our salmiak here in Scandinavia and in Sweden. Um, people, I, I, I don't know if anybody, if I've heard anybody who likes that, who um, who has not grown up with it. At least it's pretty unusual, so. But hey, maybe my my screwed up taste buds as a Swede who likes salmiak, maybe I, I stand a chance, maybe I will enjoy this Vegemite Marmite. Uh, yeah, and I, I got both of them because I wanna compare. <laughs> I think Vegemite, is the Australian one and Marmite the British one, um, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I think that's everything I wanted to say, um, so I guess <laughs> let's dig in. Um, I need a scissors, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, so let's open this. Um, I never really plan on what I'm gonna taste, um, so we'll see. But I'm gonna taste a few things. Could have had uh, money for a new computer if I would have not gotten all of these packages of expensive import candy, but oh well. You gotta have your priorities. Well, this box, it barely fits in frame. But I'm gonna do my best to, uh, you know, show everything. I'll just put it back here and I'll take, take things out one by one. Let's start with these. These I actually have tried before, uh, but it's been a couple of years since I did, so I wanted to um, get another small bag and just just enjoy it once again. <laughs> uh, Hers Buffalo Blue Cheese uh, Cheese Curls. I've had most of the Hers uh, Cheese Curls, and I, I, I like all of them. Um, lots of lots of flavor. <laughs> um, so yeah. And then uh, this was under the, um, well, in the British section, I suppose. Uh, Walker's Worcester sauce. Sorry, I don't know exactly how to pronounce that. And I don't, I don't even know what it is, to be honest. I will look it up before I taste them. Don't think I'm gonna taste these in this video. Um, but, well, uh, yeah. These, 
I've shown these in the past, not the not this flavor. Uh, it says Swedish gourmet snacks. Um, this is called Crazy Rainbow. It's basically popcorn that are flavor. Uh, you know, they have different fruit flavors. So you have lemon, orange, uh, ap green apple, um, blue raspberry, or something like that. And um, these are produced in Sweden, but I think they've kind of borrowed borrowed the idea from you know an American concept or whatever. But yeah, I've shown two kinds before. I think I had. Strawberry and cream or something and then I had licorice, you know, speaking of that disgusting black candy um, But yeah, so this, I kind of enjoy them and I, this has intrigued me um, We got some more British which you which you will see uh, Daily fish and chips salt and vinegar very charming ba charming bag here uh, you know, Looks like newspaper um, whatever uh, Actually, I, I've been in London, but I've actually never had fish and chips. Um, so, but I'm, I'm sure these these will be um, quite tasty. Um, yeah, I actually got two bags of these. I just I, I just hoped that I would like them. Uh, they look very good. Oreos are great. Reese's is great. I I just assumed that the combination will be great. So, <laughs> got two bags. Uh, hopefully I like them. Um, I'll definitely taste this in the video. Uh, more, more British stuff. Uh, Aero Bubbles by Nestle. Um, they have this as uh, a candy bar too, I think. And these are small balls of <laughs> chocolate and mint candy. Um, so, yeah. We have more cookies. There's lots of cookies in this video. <laughs> Chips Ahoy. You know what? Uh, let's see. We have more Chips Ahoy. Um, popcorn, candy chip and crispy choco caramel. I just decided to go all out and get both of them. <laughs> I, I ne I've never had um, the original Chips Ahoy cookies, but I have had the... Um, I think it was Chips Ahoy with some sort of Oreo filling and they were great um, and these look well I don't know they, I guess they look pretty good uh, this one looks pretty interesting you know they, you, you got some sort of candy in there and popcorn and well you got all kinds of stuff so we'll see about that <laughs> uh, we got a tiny little bag of Freddo Faces by Cadbury more British stuff uh, I don't know, looks like it could be some tasty chocolate. Um, oh yeah, got more of these. These I've had before as well. And they are, they're great. I've gotten, gotten these a few times and they're just kind of, yeah, they're, they're, they're <laughs> very tasty. M&M's peanut butter. Uh, can barely see, okay. Uh, we got Kit Kat chunky double caramel uh, so you get one side with it which is crunchy and one with which is smooth so we have a bunch of Kit Kats um, in a local store we have uh, peanut butter uh, with white chocolate uh, of course regular ones and regular chunky ones maybe one another one that I well I don't know we have we have a few uh, but I've never seen this so why not and like I said, lots of cookies in this, <laughs> and I'll keep proving that fact, or, well, you know, Oreo birthday cake. I've had uh, M&M's birthday cake before, and as I mentioned that time, um, I don't actually know what birthday cake is supposed to taste like. I mean, if there is this one birthday cake recipe that always kind of tastes the same, or or what? I suppose so. I mean, <laughs> but I, I don't know what that recipe is. I don't know what that birthday cake is supposed to taste like. So I don't have a frame of reference. Um, but Oreos, Oreos are great. Um, and you can't really go wrong with them. Uh, so I'm sure these will be good. And then, best for last, or perhaps the worst for last, like I said before. We got Marmite and we got Vegemite. Yeast extract, yeah, it says yeast, yeast extract on both of them. 
Um, so, I will taste a couple of things here first. Uh, Jesus, there, there's a lot of stuff. This is, this is gonna last me like over the weekend at least. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna taste a few of these things and then I'm gonna round it off by ruining my taste buds. Because I, I don't wanna do that before I've had the I've had all this, uh, you know. Uh, well, I, I shouldn't judge it. I I don't. I haven't had it yet, so I can't say. Um, so I think I'm just gonna have a little bit of each first, uh, you know, as it is, and then I'm gonna get a piece of, of bread and um, try it like that as well. But yeah, so it's tasting time. I don't know what to start with exactly. Um, well, let's have a an Oreo Reese's. Um, you know, I I feel like I'm pretty familiar with what Reese's peanut butter tastes like. So I'm just gonna. Well, it's not very much, but I'm gonna gonna have that first on its own and see, and then I'm gonna have the whole cookie, I guess. Mm hmm yeah. Yeah, it tastes like... Yeah, like the peanut butter you have in um, Reese's peanut butter cups, for example. It's good. And, uh, well, now I'll have a whole cookie. Well, I have had... Um, well, now there's a bit of a difference in the ending. Um, more distinctive taste. I was gonna say... I have had regular Oreo peanut butter, and at first, when I when I ate, just ate this, <laughs> I couldn't really taste a difference between this Reese's peanut butter Oreo and the regular peanut butter Oreo that I've had. But there is, well, well, to me, if I remember correctly, it more or less tastes like the just the regular peanut butter kind. But like I said, when I had the peanut butter on its own, I could definitely taste the Reese's. Anyway, um, there are many more, uh, well, people who are Reese's experts, way more than I am, of course, who might disagree. But to me, there's not a big difference. Alrighty, um, let's try this. Salt and vinegar. N uh, never been a favorite of mine, salt and vinegar chips. Uh, well, I can't really say that, I think I bought a bag once or maybe twice in, in my life. So, but these aren't really chips. Well, they're kind of more like cookies, I think. Looks like cookies to me or crack crackers. So, yeah, let's. Well, yeah, I can show you. You can see it on the cover, but you have their taste, uh, you know, shaped like. Uh, Fish and chips. So let's have a let's have a fish. Yeah, definitely recognize the um, <laughs> vinegar vinegar flavor from the those chips that I've had a couple of times. It's not bad, not bad at all. I think maybe I liked the um, chips more with salt and vinegar rather than these cookies or crackers. But they're, they're not bad. Absolutely not. Well, what more should I taste? I don't know. I guess I could could have a birthday cake Oreo. So, an Oreo with white cream and some very colorful little dots or specks or whatever you call them in there. I I'll I'll try the cream first, you know, why not? <laughs> well, birthday cake if you say so. I don't know. <laughs> it tastes good. There's, um, I don't know if I have a reference to the taste, but trying to remember if the birthday cake M&Ms had the same flavor, um, but I can't really recall what they tasted like. Well, let's let's just have the whole cookie. Well, like I said before, you can never really go wrong with Oreos. They're 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 great, you know. Um, I don't honestly have that much to say about it, but it's good stuff. Well, what next? I, d I don't really want to open up more cookies at the moment. Um, 
I could taste one of these aero bubbles. Now I have, you know, cookies in my teeth. Um, but. Well, they look incredibly, credi incredibly um, charming. <laughs> Smells very, very minty. The only really reference that I have to chocolate mint candy that I can think of is after eight. Well, well, there's this other candy that we have here that nobody will know of. I don't even know what it's called, but it tastes more or less the same as after eight. So let's see if this tastes like that as well. Yeah. You know, <laughs> more or less. Um, you know, mint and chocolate, great combination, but I guess there's just so much you can do with the two. I mean, you, you usually, seems like you usually get the, more or less the same taste when you combine the two, no matter what you do. <laughs> well, I don't know. Great, really like it. I'll round it off with one of these uh, frog faces before I'll move on to this. It looks like it's just regular uh, milk chocolate all the way through. Yeah. Nothing special, but good chocolate. You know, when you get when you get import stuff like this, uh, I guess maybe the main reason why you would do why you would do that is to try things that you've not tried before or to to try things from other countries that aren't very common in the country where you live. And from that point of view, from whatever, uh, it might be kind of pointless to get something like this, which is just regular chocolate. I mean, very tasty chocolate, but just just chocolate, you know. But I guess maybe the the cover <laughs> um, attracted me. I don't, I don't know. And they said, said says Cadbury too, and you can never go wrong with chocolate, really. There are many reasons why why you why you should get it too. <laughs> anyway. I think that's gonna have to do, uh, and yeah, like I said, let's, I don't know what to expect, I mean, yeast extract, I don't know exactly what, what, what it is, I mean, lots of protein in it, for example, lots of salt, um, very little fat, I mean, <laughs> well, there might be some um, yeast extract experts out there who think that maybe maybe you should cleanse your palate, whatever, before. You shouldn't eat this with a taste of chocolate and mint in your mouth. Well, I don't know what the hell that smells like. It smells like some sort of, um, well, I do not, do not know what the name is in English, so I'm gonna have to do it without that reference, I guess. <laughs> let's see, let, let's compare this, the, the smells. Smells like beer, <laughs> almost. Well, I guess that makes sense in a way. Yeah, they smell different. This one smells more like beer. And this one smells more like something that you would have in your food. <laughs> anyway, okay. Which one should I taste first? You can't even see them. Uh, well, here you go. Uh, I. <laughs> I don't know how much you should taste. I've seen people taste this and people responding that, you know, you, you took too much, you took too little, you're supposed to have it on bread. You're not supposed to have that much on the bread. Whatever, so I don't know, I'm just gonna start with, start with very little and then maybe move my way up <laughs> if necessary. Um, Alright, so here goes. Oh, oh, fuck me. I saw a video once a little while back, or a couple years ago, of someone eating Vegemite by the spoon, you know, spoonfuls of Vegemite. Oh. 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 <laughs> I don't think it really mattered that I had a taste of chocolate in my, in my mouth, because this overpowers everything. Mm. Oh, I don't. I don't think you're supposed to eat it like that. Like, uh, 
like I said, you're supposed to. I'm gonna taste it on bread. Also, I'll I'll I'll, I'll grab another another knife for the marmite just in case. I mean, the only reason why I got this is because I've heard so much about it. I did not not expect to like it, and I did not either. Not surprised. Um, you know, I just thought that I would pay 11 bucks or whatever to ruin my taste buds. That taste does not go away, does it? <clears throat> All right, let's taste the marmite. I don't want to taste more. <laughs> it really was not. It was not very good. Okay, just very little. Uh, mm -hmm. This was not as bad. This was extremely salty, though. It's still really bad, but... It's horrible. Absolutely horrible. Well, I guess now I know what people think who taste Salmiak for the first time. But this is, this is way worse, man. This is just... This is not edible. Alright, I'm gonna have some bread w with this. I'm gonna have even more of this shit. <laughs> I don't know what bread you're supposed to use. I, I I guess I'll work with what I have. Let's see what I have. Well, in terms of bread, I, I really just have this. You can tell that I'm from Sweden. It has lingen on here. Um, so I'm gonna heat this up or defrost this. It's yeah, uh, yeah I don't know what, what bread you're supposed to, to use, but this is really the only the only bread that I have at the moment. So it's gonna have to be this. Okay, we got the bread. Now I mix together what knife I used for... Actually, the um, Marmite was a little bit more... Well, sticky, uh, I guess. And I think this is the one that I used for the Vegemite, so... Don't know how much you're supposed to use, I'll just have... I don't want that much. Something like that. And then the Marmite on the upper, upper here. Opposite end. The Marmite, I, I see now that that's light, brighter, not as dark in color. Guess that will have to do. You can see the difference in color, I think. All right, let's do, well, let's do Vegemite first. It really just tastes like very bitter, salty bread. I guess it's better than just Vegemite, but I, I prefer to have butter or something. I mean, <laughs> uh, I think the amount I took was pretty, pretty reasonable. It didn't, it didn't feel overpowering, but I could definitely taste it. All right, time for the Marmite. Oh, it's so salty, much saltier than the Vegemite. Well, that was a fun experiment. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm done. Shit loads of stuff here. Um, the battery is blinking, telling me that it's time to stop filming or it will stop for me. So, I guess I'll stop. Anyway, that's, that's all for this time. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> and maybe I'll see you next time.